GG gamers, GG, it's me, your boy Waddles. So hit that like button right now. The next thing that I'm gonna say is gonna impress you big time and you're gonna forget everything, literally everything. Remember to breathe. It's me, your boy Waddles, and welcome to Minecraft Guide. Episode, episode number nine. nine, that's right, I've got the episodes down. Easy, stat, mix up an episode number? No, never, never, I would never do that. So, in between episodes, I've been busy. This cow farm is now fully functional. We'll check how much leather we have in a minute, but first, dramatic moment number two. Is this farm ready to go? Cows, are you gonna get back to work right now? Please? Um, yes, you're gonna get back to work. Okay, I like it, I like what I'm seeing. So right here, the farm, when it's full, when it's ready to go, move your cursor around just like this, and boom, the cows will do all of the magic for you. Now, what do we have? Uh, 20! 20! That's not bad. That's not everything that we're gonna need. It's almost half of the leather that we'll need today. It's a pretty solid start. Now, today we're gonna need like 46 leather, maybe 45. Can never remember. Why so much? Well, come on, of course. It's enchanting time. It's episode 9. In fact, it's been enchanting time. Today we're going to do a lot of talking and a lot of explaining. All of that talking and explaining will be about enchanting. Now, if you saw the Starter House build episodes, which, by the way, this is definitely my favorite Starter House ever. I'm really in love with it. But if you saw those episodes, you already know that we have a room for an enchanting setup. That room is going to be this room right here. Now, right now, it's empty. By the end of the episode, it's going to be beautifully filled with a bunch of useful things for enchanting. Now, of course, to enchant, first things first, we're going to need an enchanting table. So let's grab the obsidian, let's grab our diamonds, and then uh, we're going to need paper, which actually isn't in this room. I keep the paper over by the farm. So right over here, boom, we have more than enough paper for today's full level 30 enchant setup. By the end of the episode, we'll not only have an enchanting setup, but we'll have the perfect one. So usually in a Minecraft world, you would make a diamond pickaxe first. Then you would go really deep in your world and find obsidian somewhere, because of course you need obsidian for your enchanting table but if you saw our exploration episode you already know that we found obsidian we got these five obsidian from a villager village and of course i brought them home with me so we can actually skip the diamond pickaxe entirely and go right to an enchanting table boom enchantment table created now we can actually go back to a diamond pickaxe because usually that's the first diamond tool that i recommend you make so boom diamond pickaxe perfect next up we're gonna make a diamond sword a diamond sword would be a huge upgrade if we get enchantments on it when compared to our iron sword and then with eight diamonds left we're actually gonna retire from the diamond stuff for now we're gonna leave it at that these two diamond tools are pretty good now next up we're gonna want to make a bow so string uh, string well my day has been ruined we have one string we don't we need more than one string for a bow okay so no bow today that's fine that's fine we'll, we'll get a bow later and once we get a bow we won't be able to be stopped a small setback but not a big deal now let's take a look at the enchanting table because look at this thing it's beautiful it's almost as good looking as the mossy blocks this thing is so nice it's seriously one of my favorite looking blocks in the game the floating book the just the texture of it the aesthetics here the vibes they're strong they're good now inside of the enchanting table, things get even crazier because we have this very interesting UI. This UI has actually been pretty much the same for like ever, as long as I can remember. Now to actually get the most out of this UI, of course we're going to want to put something in it. For now, let's drop this diamond sword in here. Right here, once we move the diamond sword into this table, we have some offers, some information. But rewind a little bit. To enchant, of course you're going to need an enchantment table and you're going to need a tool to enchant. But there are actually a couple more things that you're going to want to have. First things first, you're going to want to have levels. Right now we have 32 levels, which is more than enough. Usually I recommend having at least 30 levels. We'll explain that a little bit more in today's episode. You're going to use levels to pay for your enchantments, but that's not the only thing that you're going to use to pay for your enchantments. You're also going to need lapis because enchanting costs levels and lapis. Enchanting is rich gamer game. And finally, the fifth and final thing that you're going to want to have is something that we won't have quite yet. We'll craft them a little bit later. Those things are bookshelves. Now most enchanting in Minecraft, not all, but most is going to be done at an enchanting table. If we slide back into this and drop our diamond sword back in here, we have two pieces of information right here to take a look at. Right here is a level one enchantment, and right here is a level two enchantment. Now the enchantment level information is over here. This green one means level one. This green two means level two. Coincidentally, they are the same as our payment information over here. What this is telling us is that this enchantment right here, whatever it is, is going to cost us one level. This one will cost us two levels, but that's not all. It's gonna cost us one lapis as well, and this one will cost us two lapis as well. The the lapis amount is always the same as the level amount. One, two, and then eventually this one will be three. But now when I hover over this thing, you can see sharpness one and then dot 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 question mark. That means that this enchantment right here will be sharpness one and maybe something else. Most likely not because this is a really low enchantment, but maybe. 
This one would be Smite 1 and then something else, but uh, if I had to take a guess, it would probably just be Smite 1. Usually, I would recommend taking none of these enchantments. These are really, really cheap, low enchantments, but because this is a special moment, we're actually going to go ahead and do it. We're going to enchant this iron sword right here with whatever this is. Probably just sharpness 1. Yep, sharpness 1. Highly disappointing, but then again, what did I expect? And boom, with that, that is our first Minecraft enchantment. Sharpness 1, absolute, absolute trash. trash. Now, there are so many enchantments in Minecraft. So many that it would be a gigantic waste of time and insanely boring if I were to go over them all. Instead, we'll go over them as we see them. I'll talk about them a little bit, but I'll use these cards that have been popping up on screen throughout the series to give you more information on the enchantments. We'll start with Sharpness because we got Sharpness first. Sharpness is a sword enchantment and makes your sword a little bit stronger. Sharpness 1, not good. Sharpness 5, very, very good. So there we go. We got our first enchanted tool and it's absolute trash. For now, we're just going to go ahead and put it in there. We'll talk about what we could do with that a little later on. Now let's talk about making this enchantment set up better. If we want to get better enchantments, we're going to need bookshelves, a lot of bookshelves. In total, to get all the way up and max out your enchantments, you're going to need 15 bookshelves total. That's a lot. For now, how many are we going to be able to make? A six. That is not that good, but it's okay because we have a cow farm. We can get more leather easily. Now the bookshelves need to be placed in a very particular spot if you want them to actually work. If you want your bookshelves to affect your enchantment table, then they need to be placed one block away from the enchanting table with a block of air in between them. You can't have anything in between these two blocks. So this right here would be a valid placement. This right here would also be a valid placement. And this right there, a valid placement as well. Now, these corner blocks would be good placements too, but of course we have corners there. I don't want to take the walls out, that would look weird, so we can just go ahead and skip those and put them over here. Now, they don't need to be on the same level of the enchantment table. You can actually go one layer higher as well, so that spot, valid. So long as we don't have anything in between the enchantment table and this bookshelf, things are going to work. So finally, let's drop our sixth bookshelf down right there for now, and now check this out. If we slide into here and put a tool inside of here, we now have three offers right here, and the offers are a little bit higher. We have a level four enchantment, level nine enchantment, and a level 12 enchantment now. Generally, the higher the enchantment level, the better the enchantments, but that's not always the case because enchanting is kind of random. Sometimes you could get a level 30 enchantment, the highest level of enchantment, and then have something like fortune 2. Not very good. But other times, level 30 enchantments can 100% be worth it. Now, we need to grind out that cow farm a little bit more and get more bookshelves. I'm not going to waste any more levels on enchantment. We need more bookcases. 15 is the goal. So far, we have 6, which is a pretty solid start, but definitely not all the way there. Cows, are you ready to get to work again? Yes, you are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is perfect. We need something like, I think maybe like 26 leather or... Yeah, I think we need like 26 more leather. So after one use, what do we have? Boom, six, okay, okay. Well, it's a start, not bad. I have a feeling that I'm probably just gonna have to do this over and over again off camera. But that much leather is definitely enough leather to help us add to that enchantment setup. Two more bookshelves, perfect. So let's go ahead and put one there and then one right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have 15 bookshelves around this total. So we're gonna have three right there, three right there, three right here, then we're gonna have three more up there, and then I think maybe three more up here on this side. We'll leave the window visible. So the flower pot, sorry buddy, but you're gonna have to move. Let's put the flower pot right there in front of that window. Now, I mentioned earlier on that enchanting is usually done at an enchanting table, but not always. Always. That's because there are two other workstation E blocks, one of them's a workstation, where you can enchant, sort of. Workstation number one, the grindstone. We stole this from a village. It looks pretty cool. It's basically a wheel. The grindstone is usually used for disenchanting. So where's this garbage enchanted sword? This thing right here, we're actually going to disenchant this. When we disenchant the sword, we're going to get the sword back without any enchantments on it, and we're going to get a little bit of levels. Uh, I didn't, there we go, there we go, we got them. The levels that you get back from disenchanting something are going to be relative to the enchantment. Sharpness 1, a garbage enchantment, so we got a garbage amount of experience back. But if we had something better, the experience amount would be greater. Back in the day, like 1.15, uh, when AFK farms worked, they were a great source of experience. You would get a lot of enchanted bows from the thing, then you could disenchant those bows for a lot of levels. So that's the grindstone. The grindstone is, again, also a villager workstation. But the enchanting table and the grindstone aren't the only places where you can do enchanting. The other place where you can do some enchanting is at the anvil. 
but to enchant the anvil, you're going to need enchanted books. Let's say we had an enchanted book with unbreaking on it. We could put that enchanted book right in here, a pickaxe right over here, and then we'd be able to pull this pickaxe out of this thing with unbreaking one on it. It would cost us some levels, but that would be an option. Now, anvils are cool because you can also name your tools. We're not going to name this pickaxe, but if we wanted to, we could actually rename this iron pickaxe to just pickaxe. Way more streamlined, efficient, good looking. But again, we don't want to name this. It's going to cost us one level. That would be pointless. This pickaxe is not a good pickaxe. So that's the anvil. Going back to the grindstone for one more second. Check this out. Broken axe, good axe good axe right there so it's a little hard to tell what's going on here because we do have a good axe right there but this axe is being healed up basically we're combining these two axes to get this brand new one usually you wouldn't do this with a perfect axe you would probably take two broken iron axes but i don't have two broken iron axes so you have to imagine it. so the grindstone is for disenchanting and also repairing now the grindstone cannot disenchant curses if you have a curse like the curse of vanishing on your thing it's stuck there there's no way to remove that curse all enchantments though are game treasure enchantment or not hold up treasure enchantment what's that well easy an enchantment that you can't get from the enchanting table the most famous treasure enchantment the most sought after one mending mending is an amazing enchantment that you actually can't get from the enchanting table there are a handful of other enchantments that we'll check out as we get them so now i'm really just waiting for the cows to be ready to work again the farm check this out a couple episodes back i swapped the wheat that was planted over here out for potatoes i have a lot of potatoes now doing pretty good I don't know why I'm stocking up on so many potatoes when we have steak that we're going to switch over to, like, really soon here, but I'm doing it anyways. Soon we're going to have so many potatoes that I have no clue what to do with them. Um, and by soon, I mean like now. I already don't know what to do with all of my potatoes. Maybe we'll sell them to villagers. That would probably be a pretty good call. All right, cows, you ready to work again? You're probably ready to work. Oh, yeah, you're ready to work. Let's get to business, cows. Let's get moving. Let's go. I need leather. A lot of leather. Now, please. All right, seven more leather and a stack of raw beef. Not bad. You know what we're going to do with the raw beef? Of course, we're going to throw it in the smoker and cook it up. It's time for beef, the best food in Minecraft. Pretty much, kind of. But it's also time for more bookshelves. Thank you. Or two more. So with this many bookshelves around this thing, we're going to get some pretty decent offers now. A level 20 enchantment offer. That's not bad at all, but it's also not what we're going for, so we're still going to hold out on the enchanting. All right, finally, here's the moment right here. I finally have enough books and bookshelves for a level 30 enchantment setup. Here's what's going on here. I added a chest over here, so I can put things like lapis in here. That's probably a good idea. And then other just things that are enchanted that I either want to disenchant or maybe combine with something. Then I put some bookcases over here if we check this thing and put a tool in here big moment boom 30 a level 30 enchantment right here bane of arthropods 4 that's not bad it's not something that i want but it's not bad so this whole enchantment level stuff it also has to do with what you can afford let's say i was level 28 i actually wouldn't be able to afford this level 30 enchantment i could look at it but i wouldn't be able to take it i'll show you what i mean once we drop below level 30 so what do we have here we have efficiency 4 which isn't bad or we have bane of arthropods 4 we're looking at the diamond stuff right now now i actually don't like either of those which is kind of good if you don't like your enchantments you're gonna have to roll your enchantments over to change the enchantments you could remove bookcases but usually that just lowers the level of the enchantment so instead of efficiency 4 maybe big maybe we'd get efficiency 3 i'm not too sure and i don't really want to check because i don't have silk touch if i break the bookcases i'll have to use more wood so remove bookcases or enchant something we're gonna go the enchant something route if you ever have to roll your enchantments over i actually advise that you take the worst enchantment the one that i said you should never take so efficiency 2 we're gonna go ahead and take that now if we put this big axe back in here we're going to have a new enchantment silk touch okay that's nice that's really nice i do like that or looting three okay you know what Ooh, that's really tough that's tough silk touch is amazing don't get me wrong don't get me wrong i love silk touch but i also love looting three you know what i think we're going for looting three looting three is going to up the amount of loot the amount of drops that we get from something i like that looting three knock back two okay not the best but also not the worst i like it now what on breaking three okay but you see what i mean level requirement 30 we're not at level 30 which means we need to get back to level 30 there's a little bit of experience just a tiny bit now uh something happened the losers that were over there are gone well 
uh, one of them is. Uh, but there's new ones over here. These guys happened. A patrol appeared over here. We can actually go ahead and take these pillagers out. This is actually kind of convenient, not gonna lie. We'll take these guys out for a little bit of experience. Oi, okay, you're far away. You know what? You know what? We bring the battle to land. Come over here. I'm standing behind a tree like a brave warrior. You all warriors do this. It's a tactic. You, hey, come back on over here. We're gonna fight up close and personal because uh, I don't have a boat. Go away. Boom, thank you. And now you, loser number probably two. The first loser went away because he was smart. Thank you, goodbye. I was gonna build you guys a house, but no. I needed your levels instead. So level 28, that's good, but we need to get all the way to level 30. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna harvest this. That's not gonna get us any levels. I just wanted to harvest it. And then we're gonna go back over to the cow farm because something else big is waiting for us. Inside of the furnace over here, and maybe, yeah, a little bit of levels there, but over here, boom. Steak right there, level 29. Nice, making big moves. Now the other way that we can get levels is, of course, feeding these guys. So that would 100% work. Or another option that we have here to get the levels that we need, we could actually head down into the mine shaft that we live right by and take out a few mobs. After taking out a few mobs, we'll probably get right up to level 30. That means we get to give this looting three sword a little bit of a test run. I like it. Now, an enchanted diamond sword is pretty good. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. But we still do want to be careful here. We don't want to just go too crazy and get ourselves in a bad situation. Because if we die, we're going to lose all of our levels. And that's going to be even worse than having the current level that we're at. So, maybe, big maybe, we could just find like a few mobs in here. Not like a bunch, but like just a couple. That would be amazing. I hear a zombie. That's the kind of mob that I'm looking for. I like it. This way has been unexplored. What do we have? Uh, anything? Anything? I hear an enderman. Mm-hmm, okay. You know what, we'll go this way. Ooh, Enderman right there, a couple Endermen. What are you guys doing in here? What is this? Why is there dirt everywhere? What are you doing? Uh, you know what? We're gonna take you out. Go away, Endermen. Endermen are strong, you gotta be careful. You see how much damage that guy did? But look at that, boom, they're all so tall. They couldn't get me, didn't even stand a chance. All right, dark hallway at a here a zombie villager. Somewhere in here, there's gonna be a zombie villager. That's definitely good. We'll take the zombie villager out for the levels. Where are you, zombie villager? There you are, hi. Goodbye, zombie villager. Give me something cool, like a carrot. Uh, okay, or not. Lots of rails down here. Definitely should grab those and, hey, another way to get levels right here. Boom, easy. We'll just mine the coal and we'll get level from mining the coal. I like it. Big gamer moment right here. Skeleton, goodbye, skeleton. You're not alive anymore, that's what I thought. Ooh, another Minecraft skeleton, and the health is pretty low for some reason. Don't know how that happened, but it's fine. We'll wait right over here. The skeleton will walk into my trap, or I'll heal up, and I'll walk right into the skeleton's trap. But it won't be a trap, actually. It'll be an easy trick. Why am I using the berries still? Well, easy. I want to use them up. I want to get rid of the berries. Goodbye, skeleton. Easy. Way too small brain for me. I really didn't actually plan on mining, but this kind of actually works, like, big time for getting levels. This is, like... Honestly, a whole lot easier than finding mobs and taking them out. There's just not as many mobs down here as I would have thought. Big gamer moment right here. Boom, level 30. We can go right back up to the top. I'm going to ditch that coal for now because I have bigger goals in mind. Hopefully, hopefully, this diamond pickaxe will give us a good enchantment, not just unbreaking three. All right, give me a good enchantment. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Efficiency four, unbreaking three. You know, that's not bad. That's not the best, but that is a decent work pick. You know what? You know what? I think we're going to keep this pickaxe. We're going to go with it. Work pick. Boom. This will be an extra pickaxe and our first diamond pickaxe of the world. A very, very special pickaxe. Now, just out of curiosity, I'd like to actually craft another diamond pickaxe and just see what enchantments we would get. Maybe we'll get offered something good. Efficiency three, no, not good at all. Okay, well that's fine. We'll leave this right there and the ores and everything that I got from the mine shaft, I've got to put that away because the inventory, it's crazy busy now. Well, I, if I'm being 100% honest, I was kind of really hoping for some fortune today. If I had fortune three, I'd be heading down to the mines right now and doing some mining, but no fortune. So I think what we're gonna do is wrap it up here and we'll do more enchanting very, very soon. Now that the enchanting setup is in our world, it'll be super easy to enchant. The biggest hurdle, the biggest burden is really just going to be getting levels. But I think we're gonna do some stuff in the next episode that will get us levels easy. Now in between episodes, I'm actually gonna go back down to the mine shaft and get some strength. I thought about it. Cobwebs in the mine shaft. Cobwebs good for bow making. So that's on my to-do list. But you know what's also on my to-do list? The comment of the day. Today's comment of the day. How do you keep a world from getting boring quickly? Loosely Lucy. So that's an interesting one.
to keep a world from getting boring, really play how you like to play. Um, <laughs> that's kind of like a non-answer, but that's really the answer. So what I mean by that is, in my case, I like to take things somewhat slow, but also not super, super slow. If I don't take the dragon on soon enough in a world, I kind of start to lose interest in that world, actually. But if I start big projects too soon, I actually get overwhelmed and also get bored of that world. So if you're like me, don't start a big project too soon and don't wait too long to take on the ender dragon. If you're not like me, well, well, figure out how you like to play and play it like that. Aha, uh I hope that answers the question. Anyways, big shout out to my patrons, De Rio D, Deja Leave, and Sci Fireman today. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, it's been me, your boy Waddle. Smash like, smash subscribe, merch down below the video. That is Minecraft Enchanting Basics. Goodbye, everyone.